Our goal is to find the Laplace transformation of this piecewise defined function. On the very first piece, you have sine of t, t is bounded between 0 and pi. And on the second piece, when t is more than pi, you have constant function 0. Remember the definition of Laplace transform for function f of t. This is improper integral, 0 to infinity, e to power negative st, f of t, dt. So we're going to apply this formula. So since you have two bounds, you're going to use two integrals. So let's write down our integrals. 0 to pi of sine t e to power negative st dt plus the second integral pi to positive infinity of 0 times e to power negative st dt. So basically, the second integral just disappears. This is just 0. So we don't have to worry about this. Let us begin calculating the definite integral of sine t e to power negative st dt. We're going to use integration by parts. So as you remember, the integral of u dv is equal to uv minus the integral of v du. We need to select u and v. Let us use u to be sine t and then let us select dv to be e to power negative st dt du is equal to cosine t dt. And then the integral of e to power negative st dt is our v, which is negative 1 over s, e to power negative st. So the Laplace of f of t, which is equal to the definite integral 0 to pi of sine t e to power negative st dt following the integration by parts formula can be written as it's equal to uv u is sine t times v which is negative 1 over s e to power negative st minus the integral of v du let's copy down our v which is negative 1 over s e to power negative st times du, which is cosine t dt. Very good. So we're going to apply integration by parts for the second time down here. So let us begin. You can simplify this as well. Remember that here you have a negative sign. So this guy becomes positive. And you could just copy this 1 over s and write it outside your integral. So let me do that. I'm going to take this 1 over s multiplied by the integral of e to power negative st cosine t. So with the same process, now take u to be cosine t and dv be e to power negative st dt. So du becomes negative sine t dt and your v, as you saw before, is negative 1 over s e to power negative st. Perfect. So L of f of t is equal to, so I'm going to copy down everything that I have. So from this portion, I 
and let us continue. We have UV minus integral VDU, so I'm going to just copy down plus. I have one over S, which is just going to copy it down here. So this is my one over S. And for the rest of the integral, let me use a bracket. So now I have UV, which is cosine T, V is a negative one over S, E to power negative ST minus the integral of V du. My V is negative one over S, E to power negative ST. My du is negative sine t, so I'm going to change this to plus, and here I have sine t dt. Now let me close up the bracket, so we have everything organized. So we have an observation here, am I right? We need to add the bounds as well. So zero to in to pi, and here you have zero to pi as well. So for all of these, we're gonna add these information as well. So let us simplify. Just going to take this one, copy down here for you and plug in different values, right? Here, for example, if I plug in pi for sine, it is zero, zero for sine, it's going to be zero. So this guy becomes zero. I'm not really worried about this. Now here, if you plug in pi, you're gonna copy down one over s and close up the bracket, cosine of pi times negative one over s, e to power negative s times pi, and then we plug in zero minus cosine of zero, negative one over s, and then here you have one divided by e to power zero, plus the rest of this, which is the integral zero to pi, and here you have negative one over s, e to power negative st, sine t, dt, let's close up the bracket here. Okay, perfect. So as you remember, sine of pi is negative one and sine of zero, cosine of pi is negative one and cosine of zero is just one. So basically what do we have here? We have the following, can write it here. Just copy this guy down. This in turns is equal to one over s negative negative, it gives you positive. Just copy this everything here. You have one over s times e to power negative s pi. And here you have two negative, it gives you positive, plus one over s, plus the integral, zero to pi of negative one over s. You could just take this negative one over s and write it outside, sine t dt. Now, please pay attention here. If I just rewrite everything nicely on the left-hand side, you have the integral zero to pi of sine t e to power negative st dt. And on the right-hand side, if I just distribute into the bracket, I get one over s squared e to power negative s pi. 
and plus 1 over s squared. And here I have negative 1 over s squared, the integral 0 to pi, e to power negative st, sine t dt. Now please pay attention here. What do we have? We have the definite integral on the left, which is repeated on the right as well. So if we move this quantity to the other side and do a little bit of algebra, we're almost done. So we can call this guy, for example, L. So you get L here, you have L plus 1 over S squared times L equals to 1 over S squared between these two. I'm factoring out 1 over S squared and I end up with e to the power negative S pi plus 1. So here, L multiplied by 1 plus 1 over S squared is equal to 1 over S squared times e to the power negative S pi plus 1. Very good. If you take common denominator here, you get L multiplied by S squared plus 1 divided by S squared, which is equal to 1 over S squared, e to the power negative S pi plus 1. Basically, you can cancel out S squared on the denominator for both sides, and L is equal to 1 divided by S squared plus 1, e to the power negative S pi plus 1. So by doing a little bit of algebra, we can see that Laplace of this piecewise defined function is equal to e to the power negative s pi plus 1 divided by s squared plus 1. So let us recap what we did. Here we have a piecewise defined function. In this piecewise defined function, we have two pieces, t is bounded between 0 and pi, we have function f of t, when t is more than or equals to pi, we have a constant function 0. So as usual, when we are defining the Laplace of a function, we have the improper integral, 0 to infinity, e to power negative st, f of t dt. But if you do the multiplication of f of t by e to power negative st, since this function here is 0, the second integral vanishes, it disappears, it is just 0. So you only need to take the integral of sine t e to power negative st dt. We're going to apply integration by parts two times. In the first part, we're going to take u to be sine t dv is e to power negative st dt. As usual of the integration by parts, du is cosine t dt. And v is the integral of e to power negative st dt, so v becomes negative 1 over s e to power negative st. This is a simple u solve. You can take u to be negative st, du is negative s dt. So the Laplace transformation of this piecewise defined function, which happens to be sine t, while t is bounded between 0 and pi, can be written as sine t negative 1 over s e to power negative st plus the rest of it, 1 over s, the integral of e to power negative st, cosine t. We're going to apply integration by parts again, because we have cosine t multiplied by e to power negative st. Now take u to be cosine, du is negative sine dt, and dv is e to power negative st, so v becomes negative 1 over s, e to power negative st. Now, the Laplace of this function is if you plug in pi and 0, since you have sine, sine of pi is 0, sine of 0 is 0, so the first portion, which is u v, just vanishes. Now for the second part, here you have plus 1 over s, cosine t, negative 1 over s e to power negative s t between 0 and pi, and here you have 0 to pi of the integral that is repeating itself on this side. So after plugging different values, we can simplify this into the integral of sine t e to power negative st, which is nothing but the Laplace of the function on the left-hand side. And on the right-hand side, this quantity repeats itself. So for simplicity, let us call it L. You have L on the left-hand side, and you have negative 1 over s squared 
times L on the right hand side. So bring it to the other side, you get plus one over S squared times L. You can factor out L and you end up with one plus one over S squared. So on the left and right, you have S squared in the denominator, easily cancel it out. And then as you can see, L or the Laplace of the function is e to the power negative S pi plus one divided by S squared plus one.